చైనా బ్రహ్మపుత్ర ఇష్యూ మంత్స్ ఆఫ్ సెప్టెంబర్ అండ్ అక్టోబర్ టూ థౌజండ్ సిక్స్టీన్ హ్యావ్ సీన్ ఎ ఇన్క్రీజింగ్ టెన్షన్ బిట్వీన్ ఇండియా అండ్ పాకిస్తాన్ బికాస్ ఆఫ్ టెర్రరిస్ట్ అండ్ బార్డర్ టెన్షన్స్ బికాస్ ఆఫ్ అగ్రెసివ్ క్లెయిమ్స్ అండ్ యాక్షన్స్ ఆఫ్ పాకిస్తాన్ కాశ్మీర్ ఇష్యూ ఇండియా ఆల్సో హెస్ రిటాలియేటెడ్ అగేన్స్ట్ పాకిస్తాన్ బై రేజింగ్ ఇండస్ వాటర్ ట్రీటీ India has now put forward a claim that it is not bound by the Indus Water Treaty that was entered soon after independence. Now, meanwhile, China has added another dimension to the relations with Pakistan because within days of India announcing plans to assert its rights with an Indus Water Treaty with Pakistan, China said it was building a dam or a tributary of the Arlung Jangbo, basically which is a Brahmaputra, that is which is known in uh, tibet and this project is going to be the most expensive hydel project of china in this article we will see why china's action on brahmaputra bothers us and why india worries about china's dam projects on the river brahmaputra the lalo project on jiabuku river in zigazi which is close to Sikkim is underway and is a huge investment that is involved that is estimated to be about 740 million dollars. This Jikazi project is few hours from the junction of Bhutan and Sikkim and it is also the city where China intends to extend its railway towards Nepal. Now China's first dam on the main Upper reaches of Brahmaputra was built at Zhengam, a place called Zhengam in 2010. And in 2015, China inaugurated the hydroelectric power project called Jam Hydro Power Station, which is the largest in Tibet and it was the highest dam built on Brahmaputra so far. Further, an important tributary has been blocked, that is, the Jiabiku river which is 195 km long which flows from Mainang in Tibet northwards and which joins Arlung Jangpo river near the region and this tributary was blocked for the Lalo Hydel project and this was launched in June 2014 and it is scheduled to be completed by 2019 There is one more important aspect that is the river's mean discharge is estimated around 25.8 cubic meters per second which is slightly less than the Brahmaputra's mean discharge when it enters India. Its reservoir was designed to store up to 295 cumex and it will irrigate 30,000 hectares and it will also control floods and generate power. Now, so there are very important points of concern as far as India is concerned. Let us take a look at them. Number one is there is no bilateral multilateral treaties on waters that are connected between China and India. Therefore, China's dam building overdrive is a concern because of this fact that there are no bilateral or multilateral treaties on the waters. Second important concern is China believes dam building on Brahmaputra helps and it will assert a claim over the Arunachal Pradesh, which is a very vital concern for India as far as its border security issue is concerned. Number three, India believes China's projects in Tibetan Plateau will certainly threaten and it will reduce the river flows into India. Number four, all these dams, dams, canals and irrigation systems can turn water into a political weapon ultimately and it will give rise to war or during peace time it will signal sort of a continued annoyance with adjusting states. Number five, There is a denial of hydrological data by China in critical seasons when the flow in the river is very high and that is a concern for India. Number six, which is a very dangerous concern for India is China is contemplating a northward rerouting of Erlong Jangbo 
which is a fairly environmental concern also and as well as very damaging for India's river resource. Further, this diversion of Brahmaputra is an idea China does not discuss in public because it implies a devastating India's northeastern plains of Bangladesh because it will have implications in terms of floods or it will reduce the water flow. In 2013, India complained to China about its hydroelectric project on Brahmaputra. The next concern is India and China have signed basically two packs in 2008 and 2010 and that talked about facilitating India with the data on water levels and rainfall twice a day from June 1st to October 15 at three hydrological stations in Tibet. But this data sharing as said before has not happened. Now this map illustrates the Lalo project on Jiabiku river in Zigazi which is close to Sikkim and which is being built at $740 million. The next map is China's first dam construction on the main upper reaches of the Brahmaputra that was built in 2010. And this map shows the location of three more dams that are contemplated at places called Dagu, Jiachu and Jiaksu. They are small scale projects and they are already under construction. You can see how close they are with our Indian borders. And in 2015, this map shows the China inaugurated the Jam Hydro Power Station, which is the largest in Tibet and highest dam on Brahmaputra. This map shows the tributary that was blocked as discussed earlier, that is the Jayavaku River, which is 195 km long, which flows from Bainang in Tibet northwards and joins Erlang Jayangbo near the region called Zighazi, also known as Shigasti. This tributary was blocked at the Lalo Hydel project and it was launched in 2014 and is contemplated to be completed in 2019. There is also a description of reverse mean discharge figures which is 25.8 cubic meters per second and which is almost equal to Brahmaputra's mean discharge when it enters India. Therefore, blocking this river with so much of force means a lot of environmental concern for India. The proposed reservoir project is designed to store up to 295 cumex and it will irrigate 30,000 hectares. This is basically shows the how big the project of China is envisaged and the possible implications it will have on India.